One and two units are the one which deals with the static charge components. But whereas this magnetism that is unit 3 is the one which deals with moving charges. The total marks which is allotted for the question paper that is a theoretical paper is 70 marks. Due to magnetic field, current is induced. Due to electric field, magnetic field is induced. There is mutual understanding between two of the fields. That is why it is called as electromagnetic induction. Hello everyone, I am Rinda, Faculty of Physics from Vidyashram School of Excellence, Mysuru, welcoming you all to introductory part of class 12 CBSC and it is physics class. So in today's class, let us study how you have to deal with class 12 subject physics. For that, you need to understand few concepts, analyzing blueprints, producing it over the question paper as answers and finally you getting the results. So first of all, think hard and draw conclusions. Think is a starting term what you actually include and drawing conclusion is the winding part, conclusion. Which means to say that the subject we are dealing with is physics. So physics is a very beautiful subject as well as the easiest subject. If you want to have a subject grip, what is that you are supposed to do? Take out a blueprint of it. Analyze the blueprint carefully. See which chapter consists of maximum marks. And what are the contents which come from that chapter? And then components of the question paper. That is the general instructions what the question paper has. How many sections it has got? What is the marks which is allotted? What sort of questions arises and it's from which chapter? This is analyzed only after going through many question papers. You can understand even more better when you just analyze previous year's question papers as well. And finally, executing it. When you have a skeleton of the question paper as well as in what what contains, you get what what chapters, questions, then it is very easy for you to crack and get out of out in your CBSC class 12 physics subject. So first of all, let us get into it. What are the contents which is present for your class 12? And first unit consists of electrostatics, which means to say electro, we study about electricity and statics means the charge which is at rest. So here, the charges which is at rest is being studied. Under that, we have two chapters, sub-chapters, and they are chapter one. It is electric charges and fields. Chapter two, you have electrostatic potential and capacitance. Both also deals with static charge components. And first chapter deals with just the basic components like charges, what is meant by fields, how it is flowing, its properties, how it is influencing any of the point charges, all these things. When it comes to second chapter, electrostatic potential and capacitance, here we study uh, one step upper than that of the chapter one. That is about the potentials, about the power, about the work done. Okay, all these things has been calculated and also about the capacitors we study in chapter these two are the chapters, the basic chapters, which you have to know very carefully because this acts as a base to rest of the chapters, which you study with respect to the current. Okay, so this chapter consists of the total marks, which is allotted to it is 16 marks. 16 is the total marks, which is allotted to this chapters. Chapter 1, chapter 2, that is called as unit 1. Next unit, that is unit 2, we have current electricity. So what does this current electricity include? The chapter 3 name as it is in case of the unit 2. Having these two, chapter 1 and chapter 2 as a base, the current electricity is the one which deals with Ohm's law. It deals with Ohm's law. It deals with resistance. It deals with combination of resistance. 
okay and it deals with many sort like that and it acts as a master chapter why is it called as a master chapter because whatever you study in class 12 theory the same concepts have are applied to your practical sessions your practicals deals with theoretical concepts which are from unit 3 chapter 3 current electricity you have got wheatstone's network also in this current electricity chapter which acts as a base principle for the working of meter bridge experiments in your practicals clear next unit 3 you have got magnetic effects of current and magnetism okay so here we study about complete set of magnetism or magnetic field so now one and two units are the one which deals with the static charge components but whereas this magnetism that is unit 3 is the one which deals with moving charges now whatever study we study here after it not only deals electric current but also it is associated with magnetic field so we have chapter 4 moving charges and magnetism which actually deals with the charges which moves magnetic force lorentz force biot'hoff's law all these that means to say what is the influence of the magnetic field when it is flowing through a conductor that means when a charges are moving in a conductor understood the same concept we are studying and finally we just deal with velocity selectors where in this term it is not been given to you no velocity selectors that is the cyclotron and all but we study the velocity selectors in that part and then we have our ampere circuit law about the toroid concepts all these things are the one which is present in your chapter 4 moving charges and magnetism next we go on with chapter 5 that is magnetism and matter so magnetism and matter is the concept which is having the informations about the magnetic behavior that is terrestrial magnetic behavior and the normal magnetic how exactly how many types of magnetic magnets are there how the terrestrial magnet behaves how exactly the ferromagnetic behaves diamagnetic behavior paramagnetic behavior about the hysteresis curve all these concepts comes under your fifth chapter magnetism and matter so what is the max allotment you have got for unit 1 and unit 2 as 16 marks total of 16 marks whereas for unit 3 and unit 4 it consists of 17 marks so we need to know what is the contents which is present in unit 4 because now let us introduce unit 4 that is electromagnetic induction as well as it has got alternating currents both also deals with the fusion of electric field as well as magnetic field so it is called as chapter 6 we study about electromagnetic induction which means to say there is some induced field due to magnetic field current is induced due to electric field magnetic field is induced there is mutual understanding between two of the fields that is why it is called as electromagnetic induction a beautiful chapter an important chapter clear very easy also your class 12 is the easiest class where if you concentrate you can easily come over it okay next you have chapter 7 that is alternating current so here we study about alternating current ac supply of the voltage how exactly it behaves okay though it is complicated it is a very beautiful chapter and very easy also if you don't study it is complicated if you study it is very easy okay so if you love is alternating current it loves you back yes so now you have alternating current here so your unit 3 as well as unit 4 all together is for your 17 marks unit 1 and 2 for 16 unit 3 and 4 for 17 and then your unit 5 and 6 will be for 18 marks so now let us see what is unit 5 contains that is electromagnetic waves that is a chapter 8 which consists electromagnetic waves wherein you study about the influence of electric and magnetic fields all together and it produces 
different types of radiations as we know. Okay, so we study about radiations like radio waves, microwaves, visible rays, etc, 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 UV rays. All these things we study and we just get its frequency, its applications and its very small chapter, very easy chapter as well. Okay, so your fifth and sixth together the marks allotted is 18 marks which means to say from unit 1 till unit 5 this these contents are from first book first textbook of ncert so the second textbook part 2 of the textbook of ncert physics consists from unit 6 to unit 9 so what does unit 6 contain Ray Optics and Optical Instruments Chapter 9 and Wave Optics Chapter 10. So, Unit 6 deals with what? It deals with optics. So, Unit 5 and Unit 6 all together it is 18 marks. This includes 5th unit as well. It is for your 18 marks. So, we have Ray optics and optical instrument. This also acts as a main chapter for your practicals because your practical B part, you have got part A of practicals and part B of practicals. Part A of your activities, part B of your activities with one set of project. So now, when you deal with practicals, your first set of practicals deals with first textbooks chapter and that is current electricity. Your second B practicals deals with second part of the textbook and that chapter is chapter 9. It is ray optics and optical instruments. So you have to be very strong with respect to these two chapters and these two are the vast chapters. Very beautiful and very easy chapters. Okay. Next, chapter 10 we study about wave optics. The wave nature, particle exhibiting dual nature. For that you have dual nature of matter. Here we study the wave nature of the particles, okay. So now, dealing with unit 7, we study about the dual nature of radiation matter. Very simple, very small and easily understandable. So, there we have dual nature of radiation and matter where we study about the light particles behaviors. Next, we have atoms and nuclei. Chapter 12, so atoms and nuclei you have chapter 13 as nuclei. Both deals with atomic level particles. How exactly the radiation is being produced? Alpha, beta, gamma radiations. How did the radiations origin? How were the particles calculated? Rutherford's experiments, Bohr's atomic conditions, all its drawbacks, Bohr's atomic model that postulates all these things will be studied under atoms and nuclei, what is isotopes, isobars, isotones, uh, radioactivity, decay law, as well as its radius of the nuclei. All these concepts comes under nuclei. Unit 7 and unit 8, altogether the number decreases, it's for 12 marks. Very easy and it's for 12 marks. Finally, we are dealing with electronic devices that is unit 9 which consists of chapter 14 and that is semiconductor electronics which means to say we study about the materials, the devices and the simple set of circuits what we study there. How exactly a diode behaves? How exactly a zener diode behaves? What is biasing? What is forward bias? What is reverse bias? All these some kind of digital technologies we study like how exactly dig digital concepts has been going. We study about the gates, NAND gate, AND gate, you know, logic gates, yes. So those topics comes under the chapter 14 and this chapter is for 7 marks. So I hope you are clear like what what chapters are there in certain units with its marks allotted. So these are the marks which is allotted. So, in CBSE class 12, we have general instructions and it is as follows. The total marks which is allotted for the question paper, that is a theoretical paper, is 70 marks. Wherein, total 100 marks, which is write theory paper for 70 
and we write 30 for your practicals and your practicals includes practicals plus activities plus project works okay so these three all together includes 30 marks and your theory is for 70 marks so in theory few general instructions are there and which are those means to say that all questions are compulsory there are 33 33 is just a number for sample it's given but it may vary like plus one minus one plus two minus two plus three plus four and minus four all these things may vary the question numbers will vary and the question paper has got five sections out of which you have two marker questions three marker questions four marker questions as well as five marker questions all the sections has been added over here and there are no overall choices which is given to you only the internal choices are provided and those internal choices you will have to attempt any one of the question suppose if there is question number six and you have x x x x is one question or you will have to attempt y y y and you have seventh question it's not like there is difference between two questions that is either write six or seven it's not like that in this case it's either in six right x x x or y y y that is the concept like internal choices and you have to attempt only one of the choices in the questions so in today's class we just dealt with the instruction the blueprint of the syllabus what textbook to refer that is ncrt part one and part two of 2023-24 reduced syllabus and after which you will have to analyze the concepts which is given there blueprint you have to analyze and finally get into work and i hope you got to know the general instructions and the calculators are not used you already know that so it's only thing is you will have to focus over the blueprint contents of the textbook and then question paper okay so that's all for today students let us all meet in the next upcoming classes until then have a good day thank you